Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Uh, so this will be part 2 of our Bootstrap 5 uh, video series. And uh, this time around we will be looking at uh, Bootstrap 5 tables. Uh, tables are very important element in, in tabulating data, displaying data from a database or just about whatever, right? So it's an important element. I think I don't have to stretch stress too much on why is it important as we all are well aware about it so without further ado let's jump into it and and look into the content right so on the right hand side over here i have let me maximize this extend this a bit okay so i have this this lines of codes so uh, this is basically html and, and bootstrap 5 uh, at the beginning we have html html language english and this is just the title of the page and we have the bootstrap 5 uh, formats which is uh, css js and all those all those usual scripts that we have to call when we want to use bootstrap okay so that's very basic i i think you can get it even from the the website all right so next is what i have done here i have a heading a heading called bootstrap 5 table uh, let me go here so as you could see we have that bootstrap 5 table heading over here and then right after that i think yeah okay so this is just some normal paragraphs as so after this we are already entering into the table uh okay this is a typo i don't think we need this okay so over here we we have a small sorry is this small table yeah over here we have a small table over here so to to display a small table what do you need to do is you just have to use this table class okay table table border table small okay and right before that table we have a line which says this is a small table and we have style called uh, overflow auto so what it does is let me show you what it does so what it does is it when 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 the window size gets small okay for example like like this when the window size gets small you you it will allow you to move the move the table right so let's make it even smaller because this is a small table so you're not going to have to make the window a lot smaller so as you can see you can move it to the left and right so that is exactly why i, I have this you know uh this this format over here overflow dash x auto so i think dash y will, will pretty much give you from a vertical scroll bar that's all okay so let's go let me expand this okay so all these are just data so you have the table headers over here first name last name email and then just random random one two three okay and after that you have the table rows where you have the first name last name email and also random random one two three uh data right so the next three line is just the data and and that's is simply how you would construct a table right it's that simple so from starting from here to here okay so that's all uh that is for the first table which is a small table and on the next part we are just going to look at a different kind of table the exact same content the exact same style over here and we have a line before the table which describes what kind of table it is right so let's quickly go through because it's pretty much the same it's just that the table type is different so this is going to be a dark table and we have this table table dark so we need to call this class to get a dark table next is this is a hover table so when you hover your mouse across it you will get some highlights that's all so how do we call that is we simply use table table hover 
and let's go to the smallest one uh sorry this, let's go to the last one which is a hoverable dark table so again it's a hover table the only difference this time is it's going to be a dark table that's all okay so um, i'm just putting across like a few different tables over here so that you all could see that there are different kinds of table and you can just select what you know suits the best for your website or your html page design okay so next is we have table table bordered and it is a small one okay so in total we have five designs and uh, this is let me just save this and uh, this is how it will look so this is a small table and, and we have over here and next is it's a dark table as you can see it, it has black background and next is it's a hover table so as you can see while i'm hovering across the table rows you can see uh, a gray highlight over here next is horrible dark table you see like you know a plain highlight over here across the dark table background and next is this is a small table i am not sure why is it okay so it's it's basically a repetition of the top one so never mind so i i i think you get the idea on how a small table looks like uh maybe if i remove the container of fluid then the table will be a lot smaller let's see yeah okay as you as you can see when i remove the container of fluid then the table looks becomes a lot smaller okay so this table is definitely a small table as you can see the table over here are stretched across the, the whole page now let's just see what happens when we do the same for dark table just remove the container fluid and okay so it does become to almost the same length but as you can see vertically is not that long but over here you have a bit of extra padding which makes the table you know just a bit longer so with that we have gone through all the basic uh, designs of the table i'm sure there are a lot more you can always log into the bootstrap website or w3 school websites to get more uh, to see designs of more table that is there okay so now let's go on to how we could customize these standard tables into something that we prefer all right so on the next part uh, we will look at how to customize a table okay so let me just show you how my customized table looks and i will explain to you how did i do this customization based on my code okay so now let's look at the customized table code so uh since i have a, a header over here so i've made it to to thread all throughout the page which is why we can see container fluid uh, it has three padding for its background and margin top is three so which is why you could see the space over here and uh, background is dark uh, text is white and padding equals to three i've repeated that which is quite unnecessary so i'm going to remove that mm, and and it says customize table next uh let's go into the body of the html oh sorry apologize before that uh there is something extra over here uh on top of the usual scripts that that is needed for uh, bootstrap i have my own custom css style sheet over here which i will explain later okay so so excuse me for missing that out earlier so uh, i think we need to note this there are some extra css style sheet that is linked to this uh, custom table okay so let's go back to the body so in in the body we could see uh container fluid margin top is three and there is a paragraph which says let's look into how we can incorporate css style into this table okay so which is margin top three and the text over here okay and uh, let's go into the row so 
I have class equal to row and then for the table I've set the column to 6 and class is a container so inside that container uh, we have that table and it, the start of the table is from here up until here okay so let me just highlight from here so that you could see so it points to this part and uh, on the same row uh, right next to it I have a container which occupies six columns and inside that I, I have a lower okay so uh, in that in that paragraph I've mentioned that this seems like the only way uh, to change the size of the table and align it to the left. So I will explain that a bit later. So and right below it we have this is an additional text. I've placed a text over here. Okay, so that is the entire run through of the code. Now let's see what do I mean by sizing the table and align it to the left. So let's just say if I were to remove this entire a piece of code over here and then I save it uh, so let's go to back to this page and refresh so you see the table automatically aligns to the center of the page and you can't move it to the left as as far as I know it, it all it will automatically align to the center I'm not sure if there's a way other than this to do this but but this is how I have done it from my end okay so now let's go back and put that back over there and then save it let's save and so you can see that when you have in the same row you have a table which occupies six column and and you have this entire passage that occupies another six column it, it automatically aligns to the left if you don't want this text you could simply remove it as well so let me just take it out all right save it and you could see that the table aligns to the left and on the right side we don't have the text anymore so if you want to position your table in such a way you can make use of this trick where you within the same row you separate the columns between two elements okay so like that so i'm going to put that lower and back over there the passages sorry these words back over here and and a refresh it so you can see it again okay now let's go into the css styling part i've basically explained the html part about the headers the paragraph the tables position and another paragraph at the bottom of it so now let's go back to the css okay so this css uh this is where it is linked and since it is located in the same folder i could just easily call it by the name of that file which is custom table.css however if it's going to be in a different place then you might have to give the entire part like this and then call the file right so take the note to you so that you understand how it works okay so now let's go back to the let's go to the custom table CSS file. So we have the CSS formatting over here. So basically, all this will include for table, table head, and table data. So you could see that this is the font family. Uh, you could change the font family to something else as you prefer. So as you can see, you have plenty of fruit plenty of forms over here you can just select whatever which is your liking okay and next is we have the color of the font so let me just change to something vibrant like red or something just to prove to you that this works so let's go over here refresh and you can see that the fonts are now in red okay so let me like that so let me revert back to the white color because I prefer white color. And now you have text align center. So you could use this to 
align the text to the center or to the left whichever that you prefer and next is you have border so border is one pixel solid and the color is is white okay so i'm not sure if it would make any change let me change it to 10 pixels let's see what the border looks like you can see you have a much thicker border over here so that's how the border can fit maybe set it to two so that it looks more decent so you have a border which actually does not make the table look better right so you want to go back to one pixel and probably the color could change i could maybe i could put a nicer color right let's see still does not make any difference so you have this slight you know shade of red over here but it still does not make the table look any better all right let's see how it looks without the table sorry without the border so let me see this and let's see how it looks also you don't have the center lines that's how it looks okay so if you want that i want that center line put it back over here and we can change it to white color and yeah you have that you know it's like very little shade of white on top of that black background table now uh at the top over here i have this background color so if you want you can always change your background color so let me include this in the code and show you how do they look okay maybe i want something purple okay and i'm gonna put it over here so the table then turns to purple color okay so that's how you could change the color of your table while maintaining the you know the generally this table is a uh, table table dark right so which is why it is in this whole structure but you could still change the background color like how i have shown you here okay so i want to revert back to black because my over color is missing if i change it to purple now table okay so this okay the table this is for the entire table so the table margin left is 15 pixel let's see what happens if i take this out so the table simply moves a bit to the left right so i just wanted to show you that you could still do that as well so let me revert back to the former state and uh, put it there now this is for the table height you could adjust the height to 70 pixel and you can align the text to the left as you can see the table headers are aligned to the left instead of the center but the table rows and its data are aligned to the center okay as per this text align center however table header is aligned to the left okay so somehow this over here overrides this part okay maybe it's because specifically about so somehow this text align to the left overrides this text align to the center maybe because this is specifically about table header which is why it overrides this particular value so it's something for us to note as well next is we are going to table hover and this will just define the color of the table hover so let me change the color to something else maybe a yellow right so as you can see the table hover color changes as well so color looks more how do i say accentuated right it's more obvious than the previous color next is you have the body and this is the body of the entire page not the body of the table and you could set it you could set the background color as well so as you can see i have something like 
a very light green which is almost gray right so see it's a very light green which is almost gray so you could always change this color as well for example if you want green you set it to green and and then the color would change to green right and then again it's too much color for my eyes which is aging by day right so i'm gonna go with something you know something looks less striking okay so with that being said i think we have come to the end of the video and uh, we have seen how we could align our table to the left and right using bootstrap and we could also see how we could take a standard table from bootstrap and then customize it using css according to our preference all right so i hope you have learned something new i hope this video will you know serve as a stepping stone for you to start customizing your own table or your own website page according to your need uh, good luck trying uh, that will be all for today uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you until we meet again bye, -bye.